everyone, welcome to the Hedgehog Hollow. Today's two minute tip is another storage one that, that you requested. And this one is about envelope storage and mailing supplies. So how do I store my envelopes? Now I know lots of us love to have all of these pretty cumber envelopes from Gina K, from Hero Arts, from Altenew. But where do we store them? What do we do with them? How do we store them? Well, I think I found the perfect solution. It's compact, it's stackable, and I love this. I've been using it for a while, so I know it works, which is even better. I use the Artbin Super Satchel Double Deep. Now, let me show you how I have mine set up. So inside of here, it has a central divider and you can remove all of these dividers and configure them however you want. And I have a couple of them. I have another one that's full of all my Gina K envelopes. Uh, there's a few of my Gina K's in here. Um, so this section here at the front is a few of my new envelopes. This is my overflow Gina K section. Um, and then I have another one downstairs, which is a beautiful rainbow. Actually, I should have bought it up. That was silly of me. Um, but I have a beautiful rainbow of Gina K envelopes. And then at the back here, there is a few British sized envelopes because I still have some British cardstock sizes. So I have a few of those in the back. And then I have some older ones here. I think these are super old uh, making memories ones. There's even some stumpendous ones from years ago. I really don't throw card bases and envelopes away. Um, but different sizes. I also have some card boxes in the back here for really deep ones. I have big square ones, smaller square ones at the back here. And I have bags for if I'm going to display any cards and I have those polythene bags. Um, at the back here I have some um, kind of unusual sizes in case I need them. I also have my uh, envelope addressing tool here so this makes sure I have nice straight addressing if I want to use it. And at the front here I have some fun little bags. So if I want to put a little trinket into a package and things, I like to put them in pretty bags. So I have little plaid ones, I have some from Queen and Company, some pink and some purple ones and I have some other little treat bags that I've accumulated along the way. And you can see how I've staggered all of my sections up so it works perfectly. Now my favorite envelopes, as I say, are the Gina K ones. I like them because they're um, price-wise, they're great value because they're nice and thick and um, they come in beautiful rainbow of colors and they're really the ones I use all the time. Now stamp-wise, I have a binder that sits in my mailing station, which I have in the basement because we send a lot of mail here at Hedgehog Hollow. And then I just have plastic pockets that I put um, comic book boards in and then I put all my stamps in that as well but that will be in a separate video so you can watch out for that coming to the channel soon. Check out the links below because we have some fantastic savings for you as well and you never know Gina may have provided a coupon on her envelopes too so you might want to check that video description. We also have coupons for Tonic, for LDRS, for Ellen Hudson, lots of fun things in that video description for you and everything I've shown you here for this storage solution is there too. If you have anything you are struggling to store, any tips or techniques you would like from us here at Hedgehog Hollow, drop those into a comment below and we'll try to to add those to our video list too. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for future videos of tips, techniques, tricks, tutorials, and hauls here at Hedgehog Hollow. Check out our Hedgehog Hollow kit too at www.thehedgehoghollow.com shop. Or check that top right hand corner for more information of what's gonna be in our April box. Or maybe you're watching this later on, you can find out what's in the latest Hedgehog Hollow kit. It's so much fun and it's always full of exclusive products. And also if you enjoyed today's tip, give us a thumbs up. I'll see you again tomorrow. Happy stamping everyone. Bye.